Oh my god, it's here! Like that. Brilliant Labs. Ooh, I like that. Like a fancy box. Upside down. Oh, I had it upside down. Ooh. Okay. Here's uh, my prescription Ray Bans for scale. So I've got two layers in the box, probably instructions and then the actual device. You pull that out. Okay, so they want you to update the firmware. Oh! Oh, look at that. Fancy. Fancy. I'm gonna have to edit out this thing. I've been waiting for this thing. Like, please! I saw it on Hacker News on uh, February 7th and I ordered it. Look at this thing. It's a work of art. Ooh. Oh my god. Ah! It weighs nothing. What? What? Oh my god. Amazing. I'll get some high res picks. Yeah, there's touch input on the top. <clears throat> it says a uh, FPGA that you can eventually program. And the uh, main way you put code into it is a uh, MicroPython web interface through Bluetooth. So I'll go over that. This uh, cable comes with it, it's underneath here. So it's charging right now, but I don't know if I can wait. Like, God, I wanna put it on and try it. Apparently uh, when you first get it, it has like a colored bars thing, which I'll get a macro shot of that. Oh God, man, <clears throat> this is like magic. It's so clear, like in person, you've got yellow, green, red, pink, then blue. It's hard to pick up on the lens. I will use the macro so you can see it. So I was going through this and I'm not entirely sure what I did. I didn't like do anything. It was spinning, had some messages. I clicked here. I was like, no, I don't need to do any of that. Came back, it's connected. Oh, here you can watch it. Yeah, so it just connects on its own. That's kind of interesting. Just wanted to point out this Nordic app. It had, how many is that, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, like eighteen, nineteen things you had to skip through in the beginning. This is the monocle. Uh, I just got it today. I've already been playing around with it, trying to draw like menus or something. Um, I wanted to show the size of the display that you see. So this is a thing you put in front of the lights that I'm using up there. The aspect ratio like matches the display conveniently. So if I'm looking straight ahead, close my left eye to help see the display more. This this is how big it is. That's how big of a scene that you see. This is where you can write text, do whatever, just in this spot. And the coloring, um, it's bright enough where you like can barely see your hand unless you're looking at a light source. If you're looking at like a dark area, you almost can't see your hand behind it. So that's nice for the colors. Um, I put tape on mine because I read you know, the sides are transparent, so if you like stray light in the prism. So I just did that. You can connect to this thing with Chrome Bluetooth. That's pretty cool. The web REPL and then there's a MicroPython interface where you can program like what it does. The app does not have uh, persistence, so the moment you turn it off, whatever you programmed is gone. Um, that's how it is until they release 
new software um, where it can actually be stored on the device. But I don't know when that'll be because they have like a lot of stuff to do. So it has an FPGA, you can do like vision stuff. What I want to do is like see my hand, you know, like open up a menu, be able to point. That's hard. That's not something I can just do. I'm not a machine learning, computer vision person. I use like OpenCV, that's about it. That's uh, computer vision, not training a model or something. You would have to train a model of like your hand to find it and then put it into the FPGA, which this is not hugely powerful. Like it's pretty powerful, but like the battery is 70 milliamp hours. It runs like an hour doing normal things, but like once you start adding load to it, you know, you can notice the battery life. This is uh, my main pair of glasses. Uh, where's that thing? So it does fit on thick frames. The position thing, if you bring it up more, you can raise it. So like, here it is now. I'm looking ahead. Um, yeah, and it's still clear. So yeah, looking straight ahead. The display is now right here. So now if you look at stuff, that's more like eye level. Okay, so I'm on the uh, this website here, and then when you hit connect, there's a pop-up uh, Bluetooth. You hit, you get a uh, scanning, then you take your monocle out, and it pops up as an option. Actually, let me demonstrate it. Well, it's already there. But yeah, so now I'm there. See, import display. Is it clear? Let me just try it. Oh, yeah, that clears the display. And then you see display text. I'm looking at the uh, documentation here. So I'll just try this guy. Oh, that's the touch callback. That's pretty cool. I just want to show something. This is the. What is this? Fine, I'll just type it. That's white. Um. Display that show. Oh, cool. Shows up in the top right. So, this is a uh, macro recording. See, I drew two boxes there. Um, they're 80 pixels wide each, 10 pixels apart. And there's just text near the bottom of the display. So, it's just hard to like film it. Yeah. So I'm trying to get this thing into view, but it's so hard. This is a 100 millimeter macro lens. I don't know how to... I think it's worse if you bring it closer. Where's the rebel? It's still connected. This thing's been on for a while. One, two, three, four. So I'll turn it blue. Wait, 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 where'd it go? Here's blue. Back to white. 